morning, friends. So we are actually in Palm Springs for Coachella. I feel like the last few weeks has been nonstop. Alicia and I actually came direct from Boston, the New Balance event, after being in New York for a full week. And literally as soon as we landed, ran home, unpacked, quickly repacked for Coachella. Also had my nails done late last night by Miss Christine Glosshouse. And we got in late to the desert, like around 1.30 a.m. and kind of planned our itinerary for the weekend. It is all our first times at Coachella. We're actually here with Revolve as well. And then we have a couple of activations and events during the day as well. We're here with Ginny, Christine, Alicia, and Brandon. And then Ginny's boyfriend's gonna be joining us as well. So I'm just getting ready for the day. The Tresemme team is coming over to do my hair shortly. And we are just gonna be prepping and getting ready for the day. Hello friends, so this is the first look. Hair is all done. We had Trust My Team come over and help me pull together the style. I love how like kind of punky but still cutesy it is and it's really cute and I actually brought a pearl belt so I feel like it ties it in really nicely. So I have a little scarf that I tied at the top. There's lots of fashion tape to like really hold it in place but it's tied in place like that and then I have a little like pearl belt situation, a little mini skirt, my docks, and then I have a sheer top that I thrifted in Brooklyn and I feel like the whole look is really cute and festival ready. You like it? I like it, Picasso. So we're headed out. See you guys there. friends it is currently 2 a.m it took us literally over an hour to secure an uber and get home it was a whole trek just because oh my god the whole deal with ubering out of the grounds was a nightmare harry styles came on at like 11 30 p.m did a couple of songs and then we decided to leave early but so many of the streets were closed down so it was absolute hell getting out so anyways we're back home safe to say uh coachella kicked our asses we were all very unprepared with how much walking we did and how much our feet were gonna hurt and how much dust we were gonna in inhale and <clears throat> just the crowds of people in general. I feel like we're, we were just unprepared for like how big that was. Really got the steps in. How many steps? It literally reloaded. Oh, after midnight. But remember before when I checked, I had like 18. Yeah. Now I have another like 5,000. Okay, so we probably did close to like 23,000 steps. And I was wearing my Doc Martens like heavy combat boots. So the back of my feet are just destroyed. So I need to figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear tomorrow and we need to pick up some more band-aids, but hopefully tomorrow we have a lot planned and I'm a little bit worried, but I think it's gonna be fun because we have like a couple of little fun events and we actually had a lot of fun today at Coachella, huh? The music was fun. I think we just need to be more prepared with like maybe bringing more snacks and better shoes. I'll see you guys in the morning, bye. Hello friends, good morning. It is 1 p.m. I actually did my own hair this morning. Silas was supposed to come over at 8 a.m. but we went to bed so late and I was so exhausted. Like even today I woke up around 10 and I was just like absolutely not. So decided to do my hair. It's by myself and I have these cute little like butterfly clips in. Whoa. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a cute little overall dress, some white cowboy boots. Right now we're headed to the Ace Hotel because I am speaking on a little TikTok panel. I'm really excited. 
I'm a little bit nervous. We're running like a little bit late, so we're rushing there. Maybe we'll show you guys some of the behind the scenes, but I'm excited. We just got back from all of our events, did a quick little outfit change, and we are headed to Coachella. TikTok song that's like I'm alive and I'm dead how I feel right now. It is noon and I just woke up. <laughs> I stayed up until like 5 30 last night just getting ready for bed and it was such a fun day yesterday um and even though I had a lot planned I feel like it was not super stressful which was nice it helped that we had the car for most of the day and we we're able to park it at events go for a little bit see some people and then drive to the next destination I just feel like it's so much less stressful when you don't have to uber but getting ready today it's Sunday we have our vol festival today I was supposed to go yesterday but there was just too much to do we really did not have time so we're gonna do that today we're also gonna go back to Coachella for the last day and Doja Cat's performing today which I'm really excited for so we had a late start but I'm excited for today it's been so much fun so I'm surprised this hasn't happened sooner but I got my little heat rash per usual because I've been sweating so much so I was surprised
Look like a bunch of Alicia. I can't even see you. I can barely see you. Let me throw it's a too flash dusty on. Let me out throw here, flash okay? On. Dusty crusty. <laughs> Does not crusty musties. <laughs> Good morning friends, today is Monday, it is around 8.30 a.m. I actually, I like couldn't sleep in for some reason. We actually went to bed pretty early last night just because I feel like Saturday was the roughest day and really wrecked us all. So um, yesterday we didn't really do much. All we did was we went to Revolve Festival. It was really cute very photogenic. I saw a couple of my friends there, but it's funny because going to Revolve Festival has always been like a big goal of mine as an influencer, but once I was actually there, it was very underwhelming to be completely honest. It seemed like everyone there was somebody. I got bad vibes from the place. Everyone there wasn't super like friendly. Everyone actually was really judgy and kind of like, I don't know, sassy. So I don't know. We didn't stay for the people that were performing, which we actually ended up regretting because Jack Harlow was there, Meg The Stallion, Post Malone was there and it was a lot better than the lineup at actual Coachella on Sunday. But that's okay, we had a really good time and um, the day before we actually went to Neon Carnival at night and that was probably the highlight of our whole trip. Everything there was free. It was hosted by Don Julio and Liquid IV so we had like unlimited margaritas. There was burgers there, hot dogs popsicles there was even like liquid iv slushies which were really really good and so many rides and like arcade games there's performers there and we had a really good time neon carnival is like one of those things that's invite only it's kind of exclusive and if you know someone or are able to get in highly recommend going and it was like 10 or 15 minutes away from Coachella and it was so worth it, so worth like staying up so late. Okay, took us inside, it's a little bit too loud out there. As I was saying, we had a really good time. This was our first Coachella ever and I feel like we <laughs> went to day one so unprepared and progressively we are able to kind of figure things out. So if you guys are interested in like some of the tips and tricks I have for Coachella, maybe we'll do like a fun little situation on the car ride home or I'll do a reel on it or something like that but pack comfortable shoes for sure day one i wore my doc martens and they were rubbing on my heels so bad I, I like didn't tighten them up all the way because i was like oh i've worn these for so long you know they've already broken in but after walking like 20,000 steps in them any shoes will start hurting so brandon waking up um so yeah make sure you pack comfortable shoes it's pretty hot out in the desert as well so you can bring water bottles in with you and we brought plastic ones in brandon's backpack and they let you bring like a good size backpack as well also because it was so hot we ended up not going to the grounds until like 6 or 7 p.m usually right around sunset so i highly recommend looking at the set list who's performing who you want to see and what time they get on and try to get to the grounds like an hour before that because the uber situation is horrible you have to walk a little bit if you have a car we started driving day two and day three and it was really easy for us to park on site because it's included with general admission which everyone that's going to coachella has general admission at least and the walk was so much shorter we didn't have to like wait for an uber after we were done and wanted to leave we can just walk to the car and drive home so that was probably the best decision that we ever made starting day two portable charge Chargers. Everyone in my group had portable chargers and we always kind of stuck together whenever anyone left to go to the bathroom or grab food We kind of broke off in pairs and that way we were able to find each other because there's just so many people And we had like a couple landmarks that we always met at so that was really nice as an influencer Weekend one, there's a lot of different events and activations So I think in the future I would be interested in doing weekend one just for the events parties and stuff like that maybe we can to reserving it for actual Coachella and just going and enjoying the music because I felt like we packed so much into one weekend. It was kind of a lot. It was really fun, but I think it was just so overwhelming to do three days in a row that by the time it was Sunday, day three, we were just all so tired and like ready to go home. So I got a lot of questions if my docs were comfortable. Yes, you just have to lace them up really, really tight and make sure they're not like brand new docs because 
<clears throat> glossy actually wore docks that she had bought and they're brand new never been broken up broken into and they like destroyed her feet make sure you have very comfortable shoes you've broken into my docks are like that soft leather and i wore them with thick socks and i laced them up really tight and then i wore them yesterday again and they're super comfortable so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i'm excited to go back home be a potato for a week and stay in because after going from like new york to coachella it was a lot and i'm excited to have home cooked food be healthy start working out again get my skin back in check but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you all in the next video Bye.